Today, we take you to a workshop in Taiwan that teaches people how to give new life to garbage. In the workshop, you can learn how to use various waste items such as plastic containers, milk cartons, and turn them into wireless phone chargers, phone stands, flower vases, and more. Our reporter Stephanie Yang sits in on a class to see what it's all about. This store teaches people how to give new life to garbage and turn waste into new products such as wireless phone chargers and phone stands. What that material is. A typical session starts off with using an AI program connected to a camera to learn about what each object is composed of. It's wired with um, air sensor. Right. Next, participants will move on to check a screen that will indicate whether there are volatile organic compounds or secondary pollution present during production. The room is wired with air sensors to collect the information. After that, visitors can take different types of trash and put them into the machine. The trash will be broken into small parts. In just around 10 minutes, this wireless cell phone charger made from garbage is complete. This workshop uses a simple model to allow participants to understand the process of recycling and the circular economy. It uses waste such as plastic bottles and milk cartons and even parts of used sandals picked up from the beach to make new products like wireless phone chargers, phone stands, flower vases, clothes and more. Space first foremost is one is education and the front part is education to teach people that everything you see in the space is all made from trash from the chair to the structure to all the trash uh, beautiful fixtures houseware that you see they're all made from the daily waste consumption that we produce and we turn that into a durable material. They can learn about the engineering technique from the software, LCA footprint analysis, all the way to the method of make. How do you turn trash into a new building material with the smart machinery? Trash Kitchen is the brainchild of author Huang, the founder of MiniWiz, a company that specializes in upcycling and turning trash into new buildings. Last year, it opened up a workshop to allow people of all backgrounds and ages to learn how to give new life to trash. Huang says the average participant reduces carbon emissions by 1.1 kilograms. Uh, pretty much you can make almost anything, uh, all the way from an airplane uh, to a car to a robot. Uh, but we have to down, dumb it down to something that people can actually experience in 20 minutes. So what we actually uh, decided to have a couple of different small products people can bring back. So first uh, foray, uh, we started this in November, is a cell phone charger. So we started with a wireless, um, five, a 10 watt wireless charger. The workshop is open to the public, NGOs and institutions to come and learn how to give new life to products. One is uh, one of the highest um, recycling um, countries and cities in the world. We are the highest, if not the second to the highest. Uh, so we are comparing between Japan and Germany. Um, and we actually have a total recycling rate of about almost 60%. And that is considered good, but that's the best in the world. Um, the other one is on the PET level, we are almost considered 95% to 99% fully recycled. There are four trash kitchens around the world in Taiwan, Thailand, Singapore and Saudi Arabia. The team hopes to continue to educate the public and train engineering talent around the world. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Guo Hai in Taipei.